I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw overlapping Easter eggs with a bunny on top. I'm starting down here over on the left hand side and I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line down, off the page. Right next to that I'm going to draw another curve line up, curve line down, off the page. I come right above and I'm going to draw overlapping curve line up, over, down, off the page. Whoops, not off the page, hooked onto that one. Then I'm going to come next to it, curve line down, bam, I crash into that. Come back over here, we're going to follow our line and connect. And one more here on the end, curve line out, down, in, and connect. I come up above and I'm going to draw, curve line out, down, connect. And one more, curve line up, down, connect. And right here at the top, let's start here and put a dot. And I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line up, curve line down, curve line over, wavy, wavy line. Come back to the dot, curve line down, curve line down. Let's bring this up. Come on the right side, curve line in, curve line down, connect, come back to the dot, curve line, big curve line, and a dot, and right at this point, curve line up, down, connect. Come back to this side and just go one, two, three, little straight lines, one, two, three, little straight lines. Now come back down over here and we're going to draw inside, wavy, wavy line, connect, wavy, wavy line, connect, curve line, curve line, wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect, wavy, wavy line, connect. I come to my next space and I'm just going to draw a baby circle, baby circle, Baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle. All of us will have different amounts because we all draw different differently. Come up to this middle one. One curve line, two curve lines. One curve line, two curve lines. One curve line, two curve lines. Now going the opposite way, we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. And now going this direction, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. One more if you can do it, curve line. Now come up to this one at the tippy top and we're just going to go wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect, wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. One, two, three baby circles, wavy, wavy line, connect, wavy, wavy line, connect. On this last one we are just going to draw baby circle, triangle, baby circle, triangle, baby circle, triangle, baby circle, triangle. And we'll all end up with different amounts of everything because we all draw differently. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the fun part about this is that you can color everything whichever way you want. The only thing for sure I'm going to do is pink, pink, and pink wavy line on my tail and a pink little nose. Okay, that's it. Everything else you can choose on your own. But since I have my pink out, this is how I make sure I get a color of every color 
all throughout my drawing. I'm going to do pink baby triangles and I'm going to come over and do pink stripes. This is why when you draw you do one, two curved lines so that you have a stripe. One, two curved lines. I'm going to take my pink and do a line right here and this is to keep all my colors balanced so I'm going to do pink on the top pink on the middle let's do a pink down here and then we'll do some pink baby circles so that every part of my colors are represented throughout the drawing let's do one more okay next I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to do this top part yellow. I'm going to come down to my middle space and do this yellow. Like I said, we're trying to balance our colors. You will do a way better job than me coloring in. I'm going to use this section yellow and this section yellow all the way across. Okay? Next, I'm going to take my orange, and I'm going to do this space, orange, and this space, orange, right there in the middle, a little bit of orange here, a little bit of orange here. Let's do one of these lines orange. Okay, and let's do this down here orange, and let's do some baby circles orange. So I have orange on top, orange in the middle, orange in the bottom. Okay, next, red violet. Let's do this red violet this space and this is also a good opportunity to take out the crayons you never use and use them on your dis on this kind of a project because the more colors you use let's do one over here the better it looks okay next blue green so I'm going to do some blue green baby circles I'm going to do a blue-green stripe. Let's bring it down a little bit down here too. Let's do this blue-green. See, the more colors you use, the more vibrant your drawing looks. Down here I'm going to put some blue-green turquoise. Up here, I'm going to do some turquoise. Let's do two stripes down here. Okay, next, whoops. Let's do yellow green. Now, if you have those crayon boxes with all the different colors, you can come up with some really nice spring combinations. I'm a little bit limited, but I Hold on to my crayons. Let's do this green, yellow green, yellow green, yellow green. And is that it? Yeah. Now I take my regular green. Oops. I knew I forget something. This should be blue green. Turquoise up here in my baby circles. And, sorry, this should be orange. So you fill it in, space by space. Then you look and you go, oh, I forgot something. Now I'm taking my regular green. This is going to be green. This I'm going to make green. This space I'm going to make green. And as always, if your hand starts hurting or you get tired, stop. 
and do this in a couple of sessions. You don't have to finish it all at one time. Hokey dokey. Then with my regular blue, I'm going to do this bottom one. Okay. Now, everybody's going to end up with a different look because we all color differently. Everybody's going to end up with a different look on their eggs even because we all draw differently. And you can change all of this because you are the artist. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do, because I always do this, I'm going to fill in my background with yellow straight lines. Now I'm using yellow because it's kind of a equalizing color. It's not too dark, but it fills in that white. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my overlapping Easter eggs with a bunny on top. Okay, bye-bye.